Hi, welcome to Educated.com and another lesson in Adobe Illustrator CS6. Today we're going to talk about perspective. More specifically, we're going to talk about using their perspective tool uh, and the grid. Now, if you don't know perspective already, you're going to be very frustrated with this lesson because this is not a magic tool to help you to learn how to do perspective. Okay, so uh, I would suggest that you uh, not think that this is going to be a substitute. So uh, you'll get very frustrated. This lesson won't be for you. And so if you want to get some pleasure out of this, go into a room, lock the door, and read a book on perspective. Okay, so let's start. Uh, first thing I want to do is color to perspective grid, and there are two ways to do this. I can do it here from this uh, box, or I can go here and get the perspective tool coming up. All right, now, uh, there are different tools that you can use uh, that are default. You have one point, two point, and three point. Um, also, you can define the grid. Now, I already, so here, uh, you can select a scale that you want it to be, one to one, as uh, what I'm using, and you can change that to whatever ratio you want. You have a grid line every 50 points. Change the viewing angle, the viewing distance, so if you know some math, uh, you can work all that out in your head, and you can change the grid colors, and also you can change the opacity. Okay, now, uh, let me show you, I have, uh, some grids that I've already preset, and again, you can save presets. So here's a preset that I have. So here's for one point perspective. Okay, so you can see uh, that here. Um, also, there is a two point. Now, so you go to three point first. So here's another one. Okay, so again, these are presets that I set up. So now let's uh, go to, and again, the defaults are here. So then I'll just go to uh, two point. All right, so uh, here's a two point perspective grid. Uh, uh, this is your uh, box here that lets you select the planes uh, that are active. So you can select here, the left or right, or horizontal grid. Uh, also, you can use the, the keyboard. So for the horizontal, I can select the number three uh, to go to the horizontal grid. Uh, did I hit the right one? Okay. Okay, so one is left, two is the horizontal, three is the right grid, and four is none. Okay, so let's go back there. So now the left grid is in yellow, is a yellow color of here, and it corresponds to the colors. And you can change the colors as you want, as I just showed you. Okay, so. Now let's uh, I'm have to zoom out a little bit so I can show you uh, what's here. Let's see if we get a little bit tighter there. Okay, that's good. Okay, and all these points are only available once you have the perspective grid tool selected. Okay, so this is your horizon line and you can change that by pulling here. And this is the ground line, and you move the whole everything with this one. And these little things are called widgets. So you have your diamond shape, your open circle, and you have your uh, double circle widgets. Okay, now with these double circles, you can um, actually move the plane. So that's the left plane, uh, that's the right plane, and this is the horizontal plane. So, 
Um, you can put these uh, where you like. I mean, this can even overlap. They don't have to be uh, exactly like that uh, on top of each other. But we just keep it here for today's lesson. Okay, now, um, and here's a grid here that doesn't seem to do anything. Is this a bug? New, no, new, no, new, no, it's not a bug. I will show you what it is. So, but in any case, it, 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 it changes uh, the planes of the grid here. Now, let me show you how this becomes a little bit more active because you see there's a number of grids here that you can change in the, the settings. Uh, but now you can create more, uh, you create less, I should say, create less of a grid. And now you can pull this farther back than we were able to do before. Okay, so you need less grid to, to, to pull this farther back toward the horizon. And it's never going to go all the way to the horizon. And really you don't want to, and, and you don't need it to. Because also it's saving you a lot of aggravation because as these get close to the horizon, lines get closer together, you can't see them anyway. So don't worry about it. So let's, um, okay, so I think I've shown you everything here. Oh, 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 one more. So you pull this widget to change the height. Okay, so now I think I have shown you everything here.